When you participate in an assisted housing program through your public housing agency, your home is inspected annually to determine if it's maintained in an acceptable condition. While the inspection focuses on health and safety requirements, how well you maintain your home on an ongoing basis definitely makes a difference in the overall condition. This video will provide you with information on ways to maintain your home and provide you with many useful housekeeping tips, most of which are very simple to follow. Some of these ideas are preventative, designed to save you time and trouble in the long run. We will start by looking at your unit room by room. Then we will look at some general cleaning needs, such as dusting, floors, and windows. Let's begin with the first area seen in your home, the actual entry area. To prevent dirt or mud from being tracked inside, it is a good idea to have a doormat immediately outside your front door. A small entryway rug will also help keep this area clean. Some cleaning experts take this a step further, recommending that family members and guests remove their shoes upon entry. Most dirt is tracked in from our shoes, so this suggestion may work for you and your family. Next, let's take a look at one of the least favorite rooms to keep clean, the kitchen. The first rule is to make sure that all foods are stored properly. Use containers with covers that seal tightly to store foods such as cereal, flour, sugar, and rice. This will help avoid attracting ants and other insects. It really is much easier to take steps to avoid insects than it is to get rid of the insects once they are present. Store your dishes and pots and pans in the appropriate cupboards and cabinets. Just eliminating some of this potential clutter goes a long way towards a clean kitchen and helps ensure you have adequate working space for meal preparation. If one is not provided in your kitchen, invest in a good cutting board. There are some very inexpensive acrylic cutting surfaces available and it is important to protect your countertops. Make sure you thoroughly clean the cutting board after use to avoid food contamination from bacteria and other foodborne illnesses. You may want to use a brush to clean cuts and grooves in the cutting board surface. Protecting your countertops also means not setting hot items directly on the surface. Using a hot pad or other type of protection will prevent damage from burns and scratches. Nobody enjoys washing dishes, but this job is made much easier by washing dishes as soon as possible after meal preparation. This way, food does not have the chance to dry and firmly adhere to the plates and bowls. If time doesn't allow you to fully wash the dishes, be sure to rinse them immediately. The seconds it will take right after use will save you many minutes later. Wash the dishes before the pots and pans using warm water, dish soap, and a clean cloth or sponge. After washing, rinse the dishes in warm water and dry using a commercial rack. If you don't have a rack, use a clean towel. If you have a dishwasher, run it before you go to bed and unload it first thing in the morning. Try to end each day with a clean, empty kitchen sink. Don't overlook the importance of taking care of your cleaning materials. If you have a microwave, microwaving your sponge or dishcloth for 20 seconds will kill any bacteria present. But be very careful. The cloth or sponge will be extremely hot, so allow plenty of time for cooling before using. Always clean all countertops in the stove and sink after cooking. Warm, soapy water works well when wiping down the outside of the oven and stove, but there are also many good cleansers available in stores.